All right, in the last video, we learned how to do correlations in SAS jump. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a figure, or how to graph a correlation. So I'm only going to graph the correlation where we had a positive association between the two dependent variables. But you can use the same exact uh, technique that I'm using to do this graph to graph the, um, the one where we didn't see any correlation at all, or any other correlation, a negative correlation. It doesn't matter. It's all the same, the same premise. So what I'm going to do um, with my positive correlation, I used height and arm length, right? So I'm going to go through and I'm going to select height. And then I have a max, so I don't know exactly what it is for a PC, but after I select that, I hold down my command key and I also select arm length. So I can select them both at the same time. Right, then I'm going to go up to my toolbar to charts and to scatter plot, just like I did with the regression, and I'm going to go to marked scatter. All right, so this gives me my figure, and again, I'm just going to clean it up because I prefer not to have this legend or this title. So I'll just click on them and push delete. And I also don't like these horizontal bars, but that's just my personal preference. Okay, so now how do we know which axis corresponds to which dependent variable? Well, I'm looking here and I'm seeing 150 to 185. Well, I don't think anyone's arm length is 150 centimeters. And in fact, when I go look at my data, I see that that's actually the height. So I'm going to add an axis label for the x-axis. And again, I go to chart layout. Let me show you really quick. Chart layout, axis titles, horizontal axis title, and title below axis. And I'm going to make this height in centimeters. And again, because of my old eyes, I make this much bigger. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make the axis labels, the, the numbers, bigger as well. Go to font. and go to, let's do 12. All right, now I want to label my y-axis, so I'll do the same thing, go to vertical axis and rotated title, and I'll go to, I'll put in arm length in centimeters, and I'll make this bigger as well. And I'll make my numbers bigger, 12. All right, so I'm almost done. Remember, with a, um, with a correlation, ah, oh, computer's about to die. With a correlation, we don't fit a line, right? We don't fit a line. So what we need to do is add in our R value and our P value onto the graph. So to do that, I'm gonna click on the graph, go up to insert, oh, maybe not unclick the graph, go up to insert, text box. All right, and I have a text box here. So my R value, again, I need to look, was 0 0.7240, 0 0.7240, and my P value, I remember, because it was a very low P value, was less than 0 0.0001 and I'll make this a little bit bigger so I can see it better and there is my correlation figure very easy to do and like I said if you want to change these um, marker styles you can but that's the that's the quick of it so I will see you guys for the next video thanks